इस वक्त हमारे स्टूडियो में मौजूद हैं विश्व विख्यात स्त्री रोग विशेषज्ञ सर्जन डॉक्टर उसामा शाफ की आइए इनसे बात करते हैं इन्होंने निम्स यूनिवर्सिटी में दो दिन में बहुत सारे ऑपरेशंस भी किए हुए हैं और साथ ही साथ वर्कशॉप भी किए हैं इनसे ही जानते हैं इनका एक्सपीरियंस सर वेलकम हाय थैंक हाउ आर यू एंड माय बेस्ट विशेस टू ऑल पीपल ऑफ इंडिया थैंक यू एंड सर हाउ वाज योर एक्सपीरियंस कंडक्टेड दिस वर्कशॉप इन निम्स Well, actually, this is uh, my first visit to Jaipur, and I heard about NIMS. I know the name means National Institute of Medical Science. And before I come, actually, I didn't have a vision how it looked like. I have been invited all over the world, operated in many countries, like in the West, in the United States, and Europe. I am really very impressed by the setup, by the facilities, by the structure of the university. And while driving on the road, I saw that there are so many other institutes for computer sciences, for management, for engineering, even for nuclear sciences. And when I came to the hospital, actually, the, it was much higher than my expectations. Uh, the operating room equipment and the staff is up to the latest designs and the latest, uh, I mean, technology in medicine. Because now surgery has changed in the past. In the past, we used to cut the belly and go inside and remove the problem in the organ. Now we can go by telescopes from small holes, and this is a very high technology in cameras and in in light sources and in optics. I found everything here is available, and what impressed me more is the working staff. They are very well oriented about this technology and operations. And to impress you, we have done in one day 14 operations in only one day. So this tells you how the staff was very well active, oriented, patient shifting. And I'm very happy that all the cases went fine. And the good thing that um, I saw many of the cases referred from big metropolitan cities, like coming from Delhi, from Mumbai, coming to Jaipur to be treated here. So in my opinion, this tells how much confidence and trust in this institute. So I'm really impressed. I wish to see this example in all cities of India. And really, I congratulate Jaipur. It's a pride to India to have such an institute like this. और साथ ही साथ हम आपको ये भी बता दें कि डॉक्टर शाफकी को बोलते हैं हिस्ट्रोस्कोपी का जादूगर आखिर क्यों बोलते हैं इन्हें हिस्ट्रोस्कोपी का जादूगर चलिए इनसे ही जानते हैं सर अब पीपल कॉल यू हिस्ट्रोस्कोपी जादूगर मींस मैजिशियंस किंग ऑफ हिस्ट्रोस्कोपी व्हाई पीपल कॉल इट्स वेरी काइंड ऑफ यू आई एम फ्रॉम द पीपल आई एम नॉट अ किंग आई एम नॉट अ मैजिशियन एक्चुअली हिस्ट्रोस्कोपी इज अ टेक्निक दैट वी गो बाय टेलीस्कोप्स टू द इनसाइड ऑफ द ट्राइंग कैविटी And the uterine cavity, I always say about it, it's the most sacred temple. It is the place where everybody spent nine months of his life there. So uh, in the past, it was very difficult to view inside of the cavity, and it was difficult to show the abnormalities or to teach others. It's maybe my mother's blessings or my wife's blessings, okay? I could develop some techniques and equipment to allow very good inspection of the uterine cavity. So it is as if in the past, it was like viewing a movie black and white and very distorted. But now it's like mo seeing a movie 3D, very vivid colors. So you can see the exact details. Even today, I could show them in the operating room, the small blood cells running into the blood vessels. So that's why people as a compliment, they call it a magic, but I believe everybody can do this. What I enjoy more is to give what I have in my hand to the hand of everybody. If I repeat the great Rabandran Tagore words when he said, one of the greatest pleasure is reading and learning, but the ultimate pleasure is teaching and giving to others. So now I enjoy teaching everybody how to heal woman problem by going into the uterus and cure these issues. About uh, calling me king of hysteroscopy, it has a story that when I was doing teaching in, in Japan, mm -hmm. I introduced myself, my name is Osama, okay, Osama Shauki. So when they heard my name, everybody was gasping. And I, I said, why? Why people are so amazed? Then somebody told me, because your name in our language means king. And then the joke became that they called me the king of hysteroscopy. चलिए उसमा जी से अब ये भी जान लेते हैं कि उनके भारत में इतने सारे दौरे हुए हैं क्या क्यों अब उनके फ्यूचर में प्लान्स हैं सर आई एम आस्किंग यू दैट व्हाट्स योर फ्यूचर प्लान वेल लिसन ह्यूमैनिटी विल बी बेटर इफ यू गिव व्हाट यू हैव टू अदर्स हु नीड दैट 
So my plan is to spread more teaching and skills and knowledge about this kind of advanced surgery, which can save a lot of women life. And I would like to highlight that women numerically are half the society, numerically. But functionally, they control the other half of the society, which are us, the men. They are responsible about the, the children and the, and the husband. So if we can offer a better quality of life for them, the whole society will live much better. So my plan is to establish many centers all over the world. I started this already. I am privileged that the many centers in India now want to have some collaboration with me on the long term. In other countries, I'm doing the same. So I wish to close my eyes, open my eyes. I see the map of the world, that there are places all over the world to provide this kind of service to women in need. And I, I learned from your great uh, Abdul Kalam when he said, the dreams that makes you winner are not those who come to you when you're sleeping, but are those dreams which you keep you not sleeping and awake. So I don't sleep, I don't rest, I will keep dreaming to fulfill everything I wish to make everybody happy and humanity could be better by that. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, and I would like to translate that I'm very impressed by India, not only as a country, but as a people. And your nation is a great nation, not because you have mountains, you have oceans, or you have oil, or no, it's because of the people. There are so many other places in the world, geographically the same like you. But the great thing in this nation are the people who could rise up and to compete with the greatest superpower in the world. Your only problem, probably the, high, the, the overpopulation. But I have seen here a technology. I'm not exaggerating, not in the USA. You know about the Infosys in Bangalore mm -hmm. and in Chennai. First time I came to India, there was only one airline. Today you have 17 airlines. The airports, the infrastructure of the country is really amazing. Nobody touched this land unless he fell in love with it. So I wish you peace, love forever. Thank you. Thank you so much. तो डॉक्टर उसाबा शाह की भारत आकर बहुत खुश है और उन्होंने यही कहा है कि भारत के साथ वो आगे इस तकनीक पे काम करना चाहते हैं न्यूज इंडिया के लिए रजनी सिंह